Today, I'm gonna to show you how to take your Windows desktop from looking like this to this. To begin, we're gonna muck around with some Windows settings. The first is we wanna get rid of all of these icons. So we're gonna right click, go view, and untick show desktop icons. The next thing we wanna do is hide our taskbar. If we right click and go taskbar settings, we want to make sure that we automatically hide the taskbar in desktop mode and tablet mode. Now we have a relatively clean looking desktop, let's go ahead and add that custom bar. We want to open up a web browser and search for Nexus Dock. Go ahead and click the first link. And just go for the free download. Once it's finished downloading, you want to go ahead and extract all of the files. Go into the folder and run the setup. Go ahead, run through all the prompts, hit install. Now I've already got it running on my PC, so I'm just gonna exit out of this. Once it starts up, you'll see a taskbar looking something very similar to this. What we're going to do is in between the icons, we're just gonna right click, go Nexus Preferences. The first thing we're going to do is hide this little icon. So if we untick that and go apply, that will get rid of the logo. Next, we're gonna head over to Appearance. We're gonna set the icon size to 42 pixels to get it a nice, small, crisp image. We're then gonna to go to dock transparency. We're gonna go from opaque to 100% transparent for the dock, hit okay and apply. Now we've got just our icons, which is exactly what we want. For mouse over effect, there are a bunch of different effects that you can choose. I have got it on heel. Essentially what this does is whenever I hover over, you'll see like a cool little background behind it. These are all the effects I currently have. And for themes, you can apply different themes. I've currently got the Windows 10 and X applied. However, because we've set the transparency to 100%, we don't see that. We just see the clean, minimalistic icons that we have. Everything else remains the same, so we're gonna just hit OK to exit out of that. Next, we're gonna right click again, go Nexus, screen position, and we want this to go to the bottom of our screen. Now we've got it docked down the bottom. Next, you wanna go ahead and customize it with the icons that you want. For example, if we wanted Adobe, you simply drag and drop the icon into your desktop. And essentially that's all you have to do. Another cool thing you can do is you can set custom icons. For example, this launches Android Studio, but the actual icon looks like this. So if you have an icon that doesn't quite match the feel of your desktop background, you can go ahead and edit any kind of custom icon that you want so that it matches. The way we go about doing this is we can right click, go Docker Entry Properties, and for the icon path, we can set it to any custom icon that we want. Here are a list of all the custom icons that I have on my dock, and it just helps to make it look and feel a lot nicer. Now the final step in the puzzle is getting an awesome desktop wallpaper. By far, the best piece of software when it comes to animated wallpapers is Wallpaper Engine. It's about six or seven dollars, which can be purchased directly on Steam, and it is well worth the money. Once you've downloaded and installed the application, it will apply your custom desktop backgrounds, which are animated, like this one. If you wanna go ahead and change it, in the bottom right-hand corner in your taskbar, you have this little icon here. Simply double-click that, and it'll open up the settings. You want to head over to the workshop tab and this is where you can search for all of the custom wallpapers that you want to download. You can sort by most popular, most recent, most upvoted. We're going to just quickly do a search for the year. Once you find one that you like, you click the green subscribe button. This will go ahead and download it to your local PC. Once it's finished downloading, it will appear in your installed tab. You simply click the image, minimize, and you will have your animated desktop background. It's as simple as that. Some wallpapers have music attached to it, so when you minimize to the background, it will play music for you. I don't particularly like that feature, so for all my wallpapers, I set the volume slider all the way to zero so I don't hear any of that background noise. Here are some of my favorite desktop backgrounds that I'm gonna share with you. So we have Night by the Lake, which looks like this. Music Cat. I can't pronounce this one, but essentially it's just a meme wallpaper, which is quite funny. And Itachi from Naruto, which looks like this. There are literally thousands of wallpapers that you can choose from, so go nuts. 
That is how I customized my PC setup. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one.